In this video, we'll discuss the creation of viewpoints in AGI 32's model mode. This is a powerful feature that will make navigation easier and help tremendously with simplifying your output from Page Builder. In AGI 32 version 17, we've added a new toolbar to the top of the screen to capture viewpoints. A viewpoint is simply a specific perspective of some area of your project. It can be in any level of zoom, in plan view, or isometric. For example, if I want to zoom in to Office 1 to see the results more closely, I can capture this assessment of the office as a viewpoint. Best practice would dictate I name it appropriately. Or I can simply let AGI32 use a default name for me. Click the Add button. Office 1 is now a viewpoint. Let's capture a few more. How about Office 2? Notice AGI32 has incremented the name accordingly. Let's go down and grab Office 3. How about Office 4? We can now easily return to any viewpoint by just selecting it from the toolbar. Office 2. Office 3. Office 1. Office 4. We can delete a viewpoint by simply selecting it. We're in Office 4 now. Click the Delete button on the toolbar. Office 4 is gone. We can update a viewpoint by simply taking a new assessment of that view. Notice the three stars in front of Office 3 as it's changed. Click the Update button. Office 3 is now changed. Office 1. Office 2. Office 3. To tie it all together, you can now reference these viewpoints in any page builder report. Just specify the appropriate viewpoint in the properties of the viewport. This is a viewport selected with the viewport command. Right click, select properties. Now we can select a viewpoint. Select Office 1. Let's make a copy of this page. Go to page 4, right click, properties, select Office 2. Page 5, select Office 3. Let's go back to page 3. Keep in mind, AGI 32 captures the entire working area in model mode. There may be excess white space if the aspect ratio of your viewport in Page Builder is different from that of your model mode screen, as is the case here. The aspect ratio of our viewport in Page Builder is in a portrait page, whereas in model mode, Office 1 is actually in more of a landscape orientation. There are a couple of ways to approach this difference. We can resize the viewport in Page Builder, or in Model Mode, we can actually change the aspect ratio of the view. Let's create another view. And let's tile the views. Now notice we have an aspect ratio that's more close to square. Let's redefine Office 1. Back to Page Builder. Now we can expand the aspect ratio of the viewport and we have more of what we might expect. This is really quite slick. There is more to AGI 32 version 17 in Page Builder. Don't miss our video on creating an automated report. 